If you have a pair of Doc Martens, here's some tips for you so that your Doc Martens can last for years and years and years. The first thing is to break into your Doc Martens slowly. I don't mean take forever to break into your Doc Martens, but when you're breaking into your Doc Martens, do not do any of the crazy things that you see on the internet because you can damage your Doc Martens and in the long run, that can hurt you. So I'll just say, take your time with it. You don't have to go do anything too extremely crazy and eventually, you will break into your Doc Martens. So when it comes to breaking into your Doc Martens, please don't do too much with it. Just take it simple, break into it, and give it some time. I know if you wanna break into it the next day, I don't recommend you going too extreme. Take it simple, break into it, let it mold into your feet, and guess what? Your boots will thank you. The next thing is to use leather conditioner. Doc Martens are made of leather, and you want this leather to stay good for as long as possible. If you don't do this, your leather is going to start to crack, the shoe is going to start to go bad, and you don't want none of that. Doc Martens are not cheap. So when it comes to taking care of your boots, one of the first things to do is to apply a leather conditioner on your boots. I'm not saying do this a lot, but do it as needed. You know, probably quarterly, some people annually, but just do it according to what fits your boots. Tip number three is to protect your boots from the element. If you live in conditions where it rains or you walk in the mud, you want to make sure your boots are waterproof. Yes, Dr. Martens, they're leather boots. You don't want them to be too long in the rain or you don't want to swim in them or you don't want them to be too dirty and things like that. So just protecting your boots from the element, something as simple as to make sure your boots are water resistant or just make sure you clean it periodically because you don't want to mess up your boots. Like I always like to say, if I'm spending over $100 on something, I really want to get the best out of it. And if you really take care of your Doc Martens, you can get years upon years of good Doc Martens. Tip number four is to rotate your boots, not to wear your boots every day. Doc Martens are good. They can be an everyday boot. But for me personally, I like to give it at least a day of rest to recover and then come back to it. I can wear it maybe three, four times a week. And even I've noticed whenever I post like my two years later of some of my Doc Martens, people are like, oh, I've never worn them. I mean, I wear my Doc Martens probably the most three times a week, like most likely the 1460s. But I make sure I'm always constantly rotating my Doc Martens or even sometimes I don't wear Doc Martens all the time. I'll just rotate my shoes so that they can last longer. And yes, it does work. You can wear Doc Martens every day. I personally don't recommend it because weather conditions and things like that. I just recommend at least once a week giving it a break and that can extend the life of your Doc Martens. The last tip is to repair any damages as soon as possible. This can include any scuffs, even if your shoelace is ripping and things like that. Try to replace it as soon as possible because you don't want it to get worse and that can turn into a major problem. Like I keep saying, for me, if I'm spending over $100 on anything, I really want to get the best out of it. So if anything happened to it, I try to solve it immediately. I know it's not easy. And for some people, unfortunate things happen. But if you can attack it and solve it right then and there, that would make your boots last even longer. Thanks for watching. If you have any more tips, please leave it down in the comments. I know some people, they've had Doc Martens their whole life. They've figured out how to do things that I'm probably not aware of. So please help out the community. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.